of teaches instead of the study guide. No, I don't know what American history is. All right. Today we're talking about reference angles. Okay, we did talk about this a little last year. I'm sure you forgot. Um, it turns out, actually before we do that, let's review a little bit yesterday. Where is the sine function positive and negative? What quadrant? Negative at the bottom. Negative at the bottom, yes. Positive at the top. And so we don't need this as much, but if it's positive up here, on the unit circle it gets up to one between negative and positive be zero. You don't need that part probably, but we didn't need it yesterday. Um, where is cosine positive? Right left. Positive to the right, because it's based on the x value, basically. So cosine is one at zero degrees or 360. It's zero at 90 and 270 is negative one at 180. Okay, um, so reference angle. <coughs> So, when I have an angle here that's the same, uh, let's say this is a 30 degree angle. It looks a little too small, but let's pretend it's a 30 degree angle. Well, that ratio that it sets up for like the, the y value and the x value is going to be the same as this angle right here. That's 30 degrees off of 180. If it's 30 degrees off of 180, that means it's like a 150, right? Uh, 150 degree angle is going to have the same ratio for its y and its x value. That means basically the sine of 30 will equal the sine of 150. It's the exact same thing. Okay, and you'll get the same effect if you go down into the third quadrant. If you're 30 degrees past 180, so, in other words, if you're 180 plus 30, which is 210, okay, you'll have the same ratio. The only difference is the y value, whoops, the y value is negative down here, so, and the sine is negative down here. Um, so, it will be a negative version of this one up here. And you'll get a similar value over here. If you're 30 degrees short of 360, so like a 330 degree angle, that's like from there to there, 330, you'll get the same value except for the y value is negative, so the sine would be negative here. So here's kind of one way to think about it. Sine of 30 is going to equal sine of 150, which would equal negative sine of 210. Sine of 210 is going to come out negative, which would equal negative sine of 330. What is sine of 30? Hmm. You guys remember special triangles? Uh, 30, 60, 90, 45, 45, 90. Yeah. Standard numbers. 1, 2, square root of 3. Sine of 30 is opposite over hypotenuse, 1 half. So, Sine of 30 should equal 1 half. Sine of 150 is 1 half. Sine of 210 is negative 1 half. Sine of 330 is negative 1 half. Um, so basically, it's if it's a second quadrant angle, the reference angle is going to be how far is it from 180. So if this is 140, for example, the reference angle like the, would be the gap from here to here would be 40. So it would be the same thing as a first quadrant 40 degree angle. Um, in this third quadrant, it's how far is it from 180 also. So, if this was 220, that's 40 degrees from 180. So, that should have the same value as a 40 degree angle. And if it's in the fourth quadrant, it's how far is it from 360. Um, so, that would be like a 320. would have the same reference angle. So, if you plug in sine of 40, sine of 140, sine of 220, sine of 320, they should all give you the same value except for down here sine is negative. Okay. If you plug in cosine of 40, cosine of 140, cosine of 220, 
cosine 320, they're all going to be the same except for cosine is negative in the second and third quadrants. Does that kind of make sense? So it's kind of like how far away is it from the x-axis? That's kind of the game we're playing. Um, that will give you the reference angle. So remember this is 180 or pi. It's going to make it a little trickier. And this is 360 or 0. Because if they say like negative 30 degrees, that would be like a 30 degree reference angle. <coughs> All right, let's jump in. This is not, it really isn't that hard. We'll, you'll get it once we get do a few of them. Uh, we do need these guys, though, if you don't have them memorized. You might make a little note at the top of your page if you haven't already. You don't really need the zeros and ones today, but the positives and negatives would be good. Sine is positive up, cosine is positive to the right. Maybe that's hot air or cold air. Do we need hot air or cold air? Okay, uh, A, sine of 128. So 128 would be in the second quadrant, right? Somewhere over here. So what is 128? What, what is 128's reference angle? You'd have to find the gap between 180 and 128. So you do 180 minus 128, which is 52. So Sine of 128 is going to be the same thing as sine of 52 degrees. Okay, is sine positive or negative in the second quadrant? Positive. Positive, so we're not going to put a negative symbol. This assignment's a little bit easy. What about a good Wednesday assignment? Should like look ahead and see what we're doing tomorrow. Well, inverse functions. All right, um, cosine of 128. So it's going to have the same reference angle because it's 128 again. So it's going to be 52. But is cosine positive or negative in the second quadrant? Negative. It's negative. So we got to put a little negative out the front of that. Uh, sine of negative 37. What quadrant is negative 37 in? Fourth. Fourth. It's just a little bit down this way. Um, so that's just 37 degrees off of the zero degree, off of the x-axis. So it'll still be 37 degrees for the reference angle. No longer negative 37. You're always going to put a first quadrant angle for your reference angle. Like between 0 and 90. Is sine positive or negative in this quadrant, though? Negative. negative. In the third and fourth quadrant. Down. It's going down. Sine is negative. Wait, so how is that the reference Okay, because negative 37 degrees <coughs> is 37 degrees off of the x-axis from 0. So that would give you the same as a 37. Uh, D, 500 degrees. Well, where the heck is 500 degrees at? Well, if, really? Yeah, I've heard that before. Once I feel like it, I'll pick it up. Okay. Um, if we back up 360, <clears throat> that'll give you a similar angle. So 500 degree angle is 140. So it's actually like a second degree angle because it wraps around twice. But if you back up 360, it's just like a 140. And how far is 140 from 40 degrees off? 
So it'll be cosine of 40. Is cosine positive or negative? Negative. In the second quadrant, negative. Okay, cosine 224.5. You guys know what quadrant 224.5 is in? Third. Past 180, not to 270, somewhere over here. So we need to figure out how far is it from 180. That would be the, the reference angle right there. So 224.5 minus 180 is 44.5. Is cosine positive or negative? in the third quadrant, negative. To the left, it's negative. I mean, no. Okay, um, cosine is 658, so it's a really big angle, wraps around, so we need to unwind at 360 to see where it's at. If we take off 360, I think we get 298, yeah. 292, 298, 298, right. 292, wasn't it? Yeah, I was all Okay, um, let's see, so what quadrant is 292 in? This is 270, so 292 is going to be somewhere up there. Um, fourth quadrant is, so we need to figure out how far from 360 is 292. So we have to do 360. No. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. I was thinking the negative was on top. 62. So this is cosine. Is cosine positive or negative in the fourth quadrant? Positive. Positive. Okay, let's see, 145.7. What quadrant is 145.7 in? Second. Because it's short of 180. So we have to find the difference between 180 and 145.7. Uh, I think that's 34.3. So we got sine 34.3. Sign positive or negative in the second quadrant, positive. Okay, D, negative 201. What quadrant is negative 201 in? Two. Yeah, if you go negative 180, that gets you right there. So negative 201 will be a little bit farther. So, even though we're going in the negative direction, we still need to kind of figure out how far is 201 past 180. So if you just do 201 minus 180. Yeah. Uh, sine of 21 degrees. And we just said it, but sine is still positive in the second quadrant. Mm -hmm. 
All right. Uh, five through ten is just calculator problems. Uh, it says round to four decimal places, which is the ten thousandth place. So is this where you just plug it in? You plug it in. Uh, what's different about like 5D? What's different about 5D? So what is, that's not the only difference. And it's not in degrees. Okay, if it's not in degrees, what must it be? Radians. Radians. So some of these problems, you might save it till the end. I would do that if I were you guys. Like 5D, 6C, 6D. Save those to the end and then change your calculator to radians. Let's just do uh, yeah. number five together to make sure we can all plug it in. If you don't round correctly, I will count it wrong. Okay. You don't round these correctly, there's like half a point each. So everybody plug in, sign to 28. If you don't get the right answer, your calculator might be in radians. Remember it kind of says it at the top, like DEG or RAD. D well, a lot of calculators do, maybe not all of them. Sebastian, you get a calculator? Yeah. What did you get on A? 4694.4694. No, that rounds incorrectly. Right. 0.4695. Yeah. So you have to round it up if, if applicable. You got something different, your calculator's probably in radians. Do you remember how to change it? No. Yeah, the R equals radians. Mm -hmm. No, it's not that one. Uh, so it's set up. Um, most of you got Casio's, it's shift setup at the top, and then it should have a degree and a radian option. Since it's not degrees, it must be radians. Mm -hmm. So it's 0 0.4706. Really put like anything else on it. Yeah. Like no, there's no pi here, no. Pi is for circles. Uh, the other thing we need to talk about in this section is. Uh, we kind of talked about it, but 7 and 8D, I think they're, it's the only one I see. You guys remember what 7D means? 207, 18, okay, right, 18 minutes means 18 sixtieths of a degree. So you probably have to plug it in, you guys remember how to plug in, that? well, I would do it like this. I would do 207, what is it, sine? Yeah. I'd plug it in like this, 207 plus 1860. That's probably the easiest way to do it. Or you could use a mixed number, but your mixed number button. And then you switch back when you're done. Oh, all right. Yeah. What are you doing here? I didn't anything yet.
all your Stanley's out. It will just take a bee line for my water bottle. <laughs> Likes us. I think she looks suspiciously. Uh, he just doesn't like her because he don't play sports. Should 7D be a negative? Track. That doesn't count. 7D what? Should it be a negative? Uh, negative point four five eight six. Okay. And he'll Thank you. somewhat like you. Imagine Leo played football. He did in sixth grade. There's pictures. Fifth grade. Fifth grade. I think that was my prime. That was my prime. <laughs> That's when he peaked. <laughs> Trey, are you playing fifth grade? Yeah. You guys must have been all stars. Should play this year. crazy. In fifth grade, your helmet's like larger than the rest of your body. I'm really like squared up with like this bridge, and this guy goes, "You're going down." The contrary sweet cheeks or something. Sweet cheeks. It's pretty good smack talk for a fifth grader. You're the big boy, bro. He's <laughs> scary. That's only way by. He's going down, Captain. He called Trey Sweet Cheese. <laughs> I think he called Zach Clark Huckleberry Pie. <laughs> <laughs> he had something for everybody. I wonder if he does that at every game. Give it the opposite. And talk. Let me let me do eleven and thirteen so you can finish this. Okay. So they don't want actually. Gosh. Okay, I'm just gonna do this on eleven because I think your calculators probably can do it automatically. I'll just explain what they wanted you to do on eleven. And then, okay. So they don't want decimals on eleven, unlike five through ten. Okay, do you guys remember the sides of a 45, 45, 90? The ratio of the sides, I mean? One, one, two, two. Okay, and this one was, we kind of talked about this one. It's short to long, just as one to two, and then square to three on the bottom. Okay, so when you have cosine of 45, it's adjacent over hypotenuse. You guys recall that? Cosine is adjacent, so Katoa. So it's one over square root of two, but you can't leave the square root on the bottom, so you multiply by square root of two over two. Does it mean like multiply by itself? So that's what they want. They don't want the decimal version. Uh, and they wanted to use special triangles to figure out. But B says cosine of 135. Well, what's 135's reference angle? 135 is 45 degrees short of 180. So it's basically a 45, 45, 90, again. So it's going to be square root of 2 over 2, again, except for cosine is negative in the second quadrant. And then sine of 210, 210 is, what's 210's reference angle? 30, it's 30 degrees off of 180. It's in the... 210 is past 180, it's 30 degrees past, so it's in the third quadrant. So sine is opposite over hypotenuse, so it should equal one half. Um, but since sine is negative in the third quadrant, it's negative one half. You're getting pumped over there. What do you guys think about uh, a Christmas party for junior class where we do like exchange dumb gifts? 
and then like play <laughs> That'd be awesome. Let's yes. do it. That'd be awesome. cards and board games afterwards and eat snacks. Yes. You yeah. That's a lot better than going to those That's a lot better than I was not, I did not want to go to What game do you get competitive at? Like spoons? spoons. No, I'm not allowed to play spoons. <laughs> Same as the band from Spoons. Sam, all you have to do is clip your nails really short right before. No, Sam was the type of person who liked to cut a jagged nail, sharpened to his nails. Because I used to bite my nails, so they would have like little... Okay, um, I forgot what I was doing. Oh, cosine of 150. 150 is 30 degrees short. So, cosine of 30 would be the same as cosine of 150. Cosine of 30 is adjacent to where I thought these. So it's square root of 3 over 2, but cosine is negative. Okay, I went kind of fast through that because this book was written before they had nice calculators. I think your calculators probably should all, since Abby's not here, they should probably all do that automatically. Um, so I'm not going to... I'm not sure I'm going to do that. Yeah. Yeah? Well, try. Okay. The white ones are the nicest ones we got. Oh, it does do that, okay. We're good. So I'm not going to worry about it. Yeah. If the calculator has replaced the skill.